Hi friends, we are going to see, see a partial command called wait event. So I'm just going to open the PowerShell window and let's go to the help menu for wait event PowerShell command. So these are the descriptions on the syntax which is used for the wait even partial command and the wait even partial command was used for applying a wait to a particular event which was in the running state. So let's execute some of the wait even partial examples. So for that I'm just going to the online version of the help. And if you see here, these are the syntax and there is no alias which is given here. Uh, that is the default alias I am speaking about. And these are the description. If you want a detailed description about this video and power command, you can just have a look at it here. And these are the parameters. And, and here are the example sort. So let's go to the PowerShell to execute some examples. And if you see here, I'm just going to run the wait even partial command. So if you see here, it was just making us to wait. Let's wait it. And since I have not given any timeout, it was taking too much of time. Let's cancel that and let's give some timeout as 5 seconds. 2, 3, 4, 5. You see, it has waited for some 5 seconds and I'll show you how to see here. With the help of the source identifier, I'll show you how to make a even to timeout for 5 or 10 seconds. For that, first what I'm going to do is I'm just going to check whether there is any current event in the running state. So there is no. I'm just going to create a new event. I have just created a new event here. I'm just going to check now. And it was working fine. Now I'm just going to use the wait event. I'm just going to use the source identifier here and, and the name which I have given for that. event as new event and the timeout which I'm going to give is 5 seconds so this is how you will just use the source identifier that is the event to give the timeout as a 5 seconds are maximum up to the limit of what you ever want and let's go and execute some other examples so you see here, this is how you just use it, and these are some of the scripts which are available here. You can use it as a script, or you can just execute each and every command one by one. If you see this command, this is how you will just give the timeout. So I think you came to know how to use the wait even partial command for giving the timeout seconds for the events which was in the current running state so if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching my video